We're catching up with Wadjet Eye Games here at GDC. You've just launched Shardlight. For those who are still unfamiliar, what kind of game is Shardlight? Uh, best described as a post-apocalyptic adventure where you play a young woman who's contracted a plague and she searches for a cure and over the course of doing that comes in contact with political revolutionaries, uh, an elite ruling class and uh, hallucinogenic drugs. Am I missing anything? Did it spoil anything there? Um, I, I like the hallucinogenic drugs <laughs> angle, I never thought of that. Uh, yeah, she's just basically trying to make the world a better place, essentially. <laughs> uh, it, it does feel like we're, we're sort of in a, in a sort of a new golden age of, of sort of adventure games now. If you'd like to put this into context, Shardlight, where, where does it fit with this sort of the new sort of narrative focus on, on adventure games and, and the landscape as it is right now? I mean, it's, a, it's kind of a loaded question for me because I sort of always felt that, like, uh, there's no new golden age or there's no old golden age. It's just it's an all age. golden. No, it's just it's all just games. Like I've been making those these types of games for ten years. Uh, I started in 2006 with the Shiva, and just have been kind of growing and progressing ever since. So. I mean, I, I wouldn't say this golden age has lasted 10 years. Uh, it's just sort of a culmination of everything we've done so far. We've reached a level where we could make this. And right now, there's definitely a new, um, I guess, resurgence in interest of adventure games, like with the uh, Double Fine Kickstarter and a lot of those games came out. So there's a renewed interest in the genre, you could say. But I wouldn't say it's a golden age. The games, as far as I'm concerned, never went away because I've been making them for a while. Oh. I guess I guess that from my my point of view, it is always the audience that decides what's. But I guess we have different points of view in this case. So, uh, if, if you will, what, what's it been like working on this game, and and from from sort of concept and idea until sort of full full fruition? Uh, it's been very interesting. Uh, it's the first game that I've worked on where I've worked on a a, a team. Um, I just wrote and designed it. We had a the full time artist at Wadjet. I did all the art. Um, so it was interesting just kind of having to figure out, you know, good communication and, uh, and you know, going back and working on things and, and having Dave, you know, tell me, you know, you should do this and do, you know, try to think about this. Uh, not so much that, but yeah, it's, it, was, it was definitely a good learning experience and, you know, I feel it's made me a stronger developer. So, you know, just trying to get better with each game and hopefully, you know, take the lessons I've learned from this game and put them into the next one. It really feels like uh, this sort of the community of adventure game developers, if you will, it feels like a very sort of warm and welcoming and sort of very much a collaborative community. Uh, I talked to a guy who's making Kathy Rain lately, and, and I, I understand you're helping with some of the, the voice act, the voice uh, yeah. recordings on that. We ju literally just finished the day before I came here. Right. So it's like, finished the last session of Kathy Rain, went home, packed, went to bed, came here. Um, so that's been fun. It was the first time. Uh, I, I wouldn't say I'm a professional audio house or professional studio or director, but I have casted, directed, and edited 15 games worth of voiceover um, up to Shardlight. So Kathy Rain makes it 16. Uh, so I do have quite a lot of experience doing it. I'm not entirely professional, but I know a lot of tricks and I have my own ways of doing things. And I know what I feel sounds good and people are generally very receptive to it um, in a positive way. And the developer of Kathy Rain, he asked me if I could help him. And I said, okay. And it was a very interesting experience because it was the first game I did voiceover for that I did not, I didn't write the dialogue and I wasn't involved in publishing. So I wasn't, usually when I'm publishing a game, I've been involved with it for a very long time. So I'm very aware of the characters and, and all of the little uh, eccentricities of the characters and that kind of thing. So it was the first time I didn't have that. And so I, I you know, manage their expectations, and so far they seem very, very happy with what I've done. Uh, and I love working with the voice actors, which is why I agreed to do it. It's my absolute favorite part of the process. Voice actors are the coolest people, and uh, I love working with them. And we have a, a pretty smooth process for getting it done. So that was pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, and, 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 and it's such an instrumental part of the experience as well to get those voices right, because if 
something is a little bit off or not the way it's supposed to be, that can put the player right off, right out of the experience. Oh, yeah. yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, with uh, Shardlight, um, I was really happy with, with all the voices. I mean, I, I was, you know, both between Dave and I, we kind of uh, were involved in the casting process. Dave did the, the directing. But yeah, it was. it's always really fun to get the auditions and, you know, kind of some characters you kind of know what you want, some you don't, so it kind of, you get to figure that out while you're listening to the auditions and stuff and some just like nail it and some you have to go through a few times but yeah it's it's a fun process definitely um, well you've just released short light what what's the future like for for, for you guys uh, future so bright we gotta wear shades no um, <laughs> I am working on a game of my own and it's exciting because now that Shardlight's done and now that Kathy Rain is done and now that GDC is, uh, what time is it? Like four hours from being done? It'll be the first time in about three years that I can really focus on my own thing and I, it's exciting because I haven't done it in a while and I've, I've been thinking about this project for a very long time. It's a, an urban fantasy where uh, you play a guy who's, or, or girl, you can choose your gender in the game, who has... Um, who is possessed by a demon and is being exorcised and it starts off the demon's been exorcised and while you're under the influence you had committed all these murders and horrible crimes and you can't go back to your old life so now you join this society this kind of supernatural um you know the, the supernatural threat police society called the unavowed uh to try to find this demon that possessed you and destroy it uh so it's pretty big yeah, i like to call it Dresden Files meets Dragon Age Origins because uh, it's still an adventure game, but it's got that kind of branching narrative. And uh, romance. It will have a, there, there will be some. Yeah. Yeah, I actually hooked up with a former Bioware writer, mm -hmm. uh, a woman named Jen Hepler, who it turned out I went to summer camp with. It was a very weird thing. And uh, she made a few statements several years ago about wanting to skip the combat in Bioware games. Mm -hmm. And my, I thought, wow, that's like the point-and-click adventure game of my dreams. Uh, so I asked her if she'd be interested in helping out because I was so busy with Techno Babylon and Shardlight and many projects that I didn't have time to really work on it. And she said yes. So uh, it, it'll be very Biowarian. Is that the word? Bioware, <laughs> bio or something? Uh, uh, Bioware-esque. In, uh, in terms of structure. Uh, so that's very exciting to work on because I've been a, a fan of them for a very long time. Sounds exciting. Does it have a name? Yeah. Unavowed. Yeah. yeah. All right. Cool. Uh, what, what will you be working on next? Are you just sort of trying to make sure that Shardlight is, is in the place where you want it to be? or? Uh, no, not really. I've already jumped headfirst into my <laughs> next project. Um, I, it's still in the very early design phases. Uh, I'm still just kind of figuring it out. But it's, I guess what I can call it is a steampunkish detective game set in an alternate... Uh, past so yeah <laughs> sounds delicious <laughs> I, hope so. yeah. I, I hope it is <laughs> right well I'm, I'm excited to to learn more about those projects I'm, both of them very early on I suppose yeah I've been it's working much well by on. like six months <laughs> I, I, it's more that I, I I spent like about a year thinking about it mm. and now I'm like working on it so uh, full I've been working on it kind of off and on uh, since September but now that everything is off my plate, uh, it'll be moving farther along much faster. So I'm looking forward to talking about it. I've avoided talking about it because I, I didn't want eyes off Shardlight. But now, now, I, now there'll be a lot of talk of Unavowed <laughs> in the near future. All right. But until then, we can get to play Shardlight. Thank you so much for your time. Well, thank you very much. Yes, thank you very much as that well. That was nice and easy. Yes. Yeah. <laughs>